Hi, in this week we will review the term stereo vision, or in other words, system that used two images to create a sense of depth. Robust implementations for stereoscopic perceptions are invaluable for robot navigation and cartography, but also in segmentation for object recognition or the construction of three-dimensional scenes models for gaming. In general terms, the stereo visions involve two main processes, the fusion of the features observed on each camera and the reconstruction of their three-dimensional representation. So we are going to start by understanding the geometry behind this problem. Imagine that we take a picture in which we see a red point. Even if we know all the characteristics of the camera, we cannot know how close or far the point is from the camera. However, we know that the point is in a straight line that travels from the camera to infinity. Now, imagine that we include a new camera to the system, and we can take another image of the same point. From this second camera, we also know the line in which the red dot is located. Then, we can use the intersection of these two lines to estimate the location of the point. The simplest configuration for an stereo vision system is to place two cameras aligned, and the second one just displays it in the horizontal axis a distance v that we can call the baseline distance. For this simple example, let's assume that the intrinsic parameters of the camera are the same, so we can use the same values for both images. So we know that the focal length of each axis, fx and fy, we know where the origin of each camera, ox and oy, and the distance between them, that is given by b. We also know the coordinates of the red point for each image. Let's call ul and bl for the left image, and ur and br for the right. And based on the perspective projection equations, we know that a point with coordinates u, b is located in an x, y, and z position in the space, also called world coordinates. With one single camera, we cannot find z. But now that we have another set of u, b coordinates, we can solve for x, y, and z, and we obtain these three equations. The important one here is z, because that tells us how far is the point from the camera. In this equation, we can see that the distance b has a proportional effect in the result, but also in the denominator. Here, we have the difference of the horizontal coordinates of each image. This difference is called disparity and depends on the distance b. A point that is close to the camera will have a higher disparity than a point that is far away. But that also depends on the distance b. If we increase the distance between cameras, we will also increase the disparity of the points that are far but we might lose the ability to see objects that are close to the system. Another example is a point in the horizon, like a star. In this case, if we increase or reduce the distance b, the star will be captured in the same position for each camera, because the distance between the cameras is irrelevant compared to the distance to the star. Therefore, the distance b depends on the application and the area that you want to cover. Now that we know the math, let's see an example. You have two images, and the first step is to find the correspondence between the points on each image. We can use a variety of methods here, 
but because we are using the simple configuration, we know that the difference between the two images is only on the x-axis. Therefore, we can use template matching to find the points by looking at rows. So we can create a small window and we look over the same row until we find a match. Again, because our setup, there's no need to search in another part of the image. Here it's important to notice that the window needs to be big enough to get certain pattern. If you take one pixel or you make this window really small, this approach will fail. Because you will find many points that can match with the target. This also will happen if the images are mostly flat and does not have any texture. Like we have seen in previous methods, using a large window will be robust against noise, but you will also lose some detail. So anyways, for each pair of points, you just need to apply the formula and build the depth image. Here the values represent an estimation of the distance between the objects and the camera. Okay, in this video we review the basics of stereo vision and we learn how to calculate the depth image using a simpler stereo setup. See you in the next video.